we honor and remember them all. Well, you know, the attacks by Iran's proxies are continuing on our troops on American bases in the Middle East. The Biden administration has responded with airstrikes targeting Iran-backed facilities. The White House insists the strikes are working to deter a wider conflict in the Middle East. But you know, the latest round of attacks, even this morning, seem to show that the U.S. response so far has not completely deterred Tehran. Let's bring in the former commanding officer of the USS Cole. You know the ship was attacked by al-Qaeda suicide terrorists in 2000, killing 17 of our sailors. Retired Commander Kirk Lippold joins us now. Commander, good to see you, and thank you on this Veterans Day for your service. Thank you, Eric. Very much appreciated. Of course. Uh, what do you make of these attacks and the administration's response? Is it enough? It seems that Iran may not be or is not getting the message. Uh, Eric, they're not getting the message. When you look at it, Iran has killed thousands of Americans over the last 40 years. These attacks that are occurring today clearly indicate that Iran is not being deterred. They're not taking any actions to stop the attacks. They are continuing to target through their proxy forces in Iraq in Syria and in the region, U.S. forces. They are injuring our forces. It's only a matter of time, unfortunately, before someone probably gets killed. And at the end of the day, there needs to be no white space, no the difference between a proxy force from Iran and Iran itself. And we need to start holding that country accountable in a manner that deters them, not with just proportional responses. What type of action do you think that should be that's, that's not proportional, not these so-called pinprick response. I think, Eric, we've got the intelligence to know where these proxy groups are hiding the vast majority of their command and control, their weapons depots, and others. And what we need to do is strike them hard enough that it literally takes their breath away. We need to make sure that they pay a price that is so high. Proportional doesn't work. What needs to work is the fact that when they get hit, they shoot one at us, we will do five at them. We want to make sure that they begin to be deterred. The only thing that Iran understands is power. It is an unfortunate reality in the region. And you mentioned it's lucky and very fortunate that none of our forces have been killed so far. But they have been injured. And these are, these are TBIs, traumatic brain injuries. That's very serious. Do you think that, that that's not being taken uh, uh, seriously enough? Uh, Eric, ever since the attack on my ship, I've kind of maintained a policy, as I think most Americans have, that if you harm an American or you kill an American, we need to go to the source who did it and hold them accountable. Those young men and women that are serving that suffer from these traumatic brain injuries, all of them are veterans. They're eventually going to come home. And when they do, they're going to need our help as Americans, not only from the um, active duty military medical hospitals, but the VA as well. And then you're going to also see other groups throughout the United States as Americans want to reach out and make sure that these young men and women get the services they need to be able to heal and contribute back to our society. We think of them, we honor them. They are in our thoughts, of course, uh, as they are in harm's way. I see uh, on your mantelpiece behind you have your book, Front Burner, which is uh, Al-Qaeda's attack on the USS Cole. What lessons are there in that book that we can apply today uh, in, in terms of dealing with retaliating against the radical Islamic terrorists like those who attacked your ship and those that are motivating Hamas now? Well, I think when you look at it, one of the biggest factors is there was no response to the attack on my ship when 17 sailors were killed and 37 were injured. That was true for two administrations, both the Clinton and Bush administrations, two different parties. Clearly, no party can claim that they own national security. It is an American issue. And as I said before, if you harm or you kill an American, we're going to hold you accountable. That is the strongest way, uh, message that you can ever get across. And, and finally, on this Veterans Day, people wonder, how can you help? Uh, there, there's an organization, charitiesforvets.org, for example, that tells you where you can go to donate, to help out. Tell us the importance of that, and how do you know where, where you can give and how, how we can help for those watching at home? Well, thank you, Eric. I very much appreciate that. I am on the board of advisors for charitiesforvets.org, and what it really serves as is like a clearinghouse, is like the consumer reports. While we don't directly offer things, what we do is if you go on there, we have three categories, highly recommended, recommended, and not recommended. There are billions of dollars being donated to veterans throughout our country every year. But how effective are those organizations? We draw out four benchmarks that we use, the most important criteria is if you if 75% of that donation goes toward a veteran 
or their programs, it gets a, it gets a recommended. If 85% or more go to it, it's highly recommended. And you'd be surprised. There are some major, big name veterans organizations that get a not recommended ah. because they actually have close to 30% that is spent on overhead, salaries, conferences, <laughs> events, and golf outings instead of actually helping those veterans that truly deserve that helping hand. There it is on the screen, charitiesforvets.org. We all want to help. We think of our veterans not just today, but throughout the whole year, what they've gone through and the men of you and women of your ship. Retired Commander Kirk Lippold, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for your service. With this Veterans Day, Fox Corporation is also partnering with one of those recommended charities, U.S. Vets, to make CAMO your cause. Their mission is to help get homeless veterans off the streets of our nation. You can purchase some of the CAMO gear to honor U.S. Vets or just try to scan this uh, QR code on your screen if you have your phone, or maybe make it easier. You can uh, see the uh, honor.usvets.org slash Fox Forward is the website to help our vets, not just thinking of them and honoring them on Veterans Day, but every day for protecting us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.